Hello and welcome to our final card for our virtual open house. We'll be working on our Marianne folding card and this is the die that we used to make the card. In your card kit you'll have this uh, card base that's already cut and I'm just going to show you quickly how I lined up this die cut to make that to make the folding card. So I'm just going to bring over my cutting plate here and this is one of the cards that you'll find inside your card kit and you'll take the die here and there's two ways that you can use this. You're going to flip that over and if you cut, there's only on this die, there's only one side that cuts and this is just like a guide and then these two lines here, they emboss. So if you place your die cut face down and you place the cutting plate uh, the cutting side on this side, you will get the cut like this, like this card here. Then if you turn your die cut around, uh, you will have a card that opens in the opposite directions and I will show you that in just a second. So I'm just going to place a little bit of tape here so it doesn't move. And I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. Okay, so I ran that through and now I'm going to take off the die and I'll show you the other way. If you place your die cut this way, you have a card that opens differently. So it's just a matter of folding and reinforcing that fold. So here is the second way to use that die. And you see that this will be the front of your card and then when you open it up you'll have another space to write. So that opens completely different than the card base that we have prepared for you today. So when you open this card you have the front of your card plus the inside. So that's something to keep in mind. It's a different little pattern and it turns out really neat as well. So you could always decorate this and this as well. So you have all this area here. Uh, these dies come in different shapes. I believe Marianne has the oval and the square. And so I'm just going to show you here a sample quickly that I did with uh, using one of the images from the cutting sheet and the square uh, die that made that cut. So very neat. Okay, so let's get on with making our card today. So in your card kit, like I said, you have the card base that's already cut and we're going to go ahead and fold that up. So what we want to do is fold the card in half, just going to use our tool here to reinforce that. And then we will fold the two lines here and you will fold those back as well. And then you can just use your tool to press that down. Now in your card kit was included some layering elements. So we have the uh, layering element for the front image and uh, the cutting sheet that I used today was the ones with the birds. But my other sample here is the really cute um, deer one. And then there's uh, butterflies in the teacup and very cute. So everyone's kit will include a different cutting sheet. So everyone's image will be different. So then I'm just going to layer, uh, I just used from the set, I used the circle that comes with it because there's extra elements. We did use these elements to cut your layering dies out. So I used this circle die to cut my image out of the cutting sheet. If you don't have this die, you can always just use uh, a circle, a circle die to cut that out or a square one if you're doing the square one. So we're just going to go ahead and attach that. And I'm going to recommend that you use double-sided tape here. Uh, just because if you use the glue on the cutting sheet paper, it's very thin and it might warp a little bit and then you will be able to see the glue behind the paper. So I would suggest using some tape here. And then I'm just going to lay that on there and layer it. And then again, I will flip that over and put some more tape on the back. So Marianne Design has uh, a quite a few choices of cutting sheets to choose from. So the patterns that we chose for you uh, today are more spring-like and 
fun and um, they have lots of winter ones to choose from or seasonal like Halloween or Valentine's Day. So I did place that down a little crooked. So I'm just going to pick that up and try to center that. So I'm going to place this down. It might be easier if you place your image down like this. And then the circle is just slightly bigger than this circle here. So this is an easier way to layer that on there. So I'm just going to press that down. Okay, so now that you have your uh, a circle element in the front we're going to go ahead and open that card up and in your package you have two uh, printed sheets patterned paper so I'm just going to choose one of those and measure uh, what my background is here I'm just going to use a little pencil here to make a mark and then I will bring in my paper trimmer and just trim that down on that line that I made And we have included <clears throat> we have included two full sheets and a couple of extra cards so you'll have enough product to make a couple of cards and just this one that we pre-cut for you in the fancy fold so I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base and I'm going to use tape here just because I prefer to use uh, tape for adhering things down you can go you can go ahead and use glue at this stage if you like it's just on the cutting sheets that I don't suggest you use the glue just because you can it'll warp the paper so but you can use glue here if you like <clears throat> so I'm just going to adhere that to the back to the inside of my card And now I'm going to show you a little trick on how to get that centerpiece in there nice and centered. Okay, so down to center this piece, I'm just going to put some tape on the back. I'll take off the release paper here. Okay, so now you're going to close the, or sorry, open your card and place this circle dead center of that circle element and then close the back of your card to pick that up. So now you have the inside completely centered and hidden behind the circle here. So this is going to be for my sentiment and I will attach that later. So in your card kit you also received a sticker sheet and what I did was peel off the background and that just makes it way easier to see uh, what kind of stickers you're working with. Now I'm just going to use my tweezers here and add the corner elements to each corner of my card. So I'll do the four on the inside like so. And I find using the tweezers makes it super easy just to transfer these little stickers to your card. And then I'm also going to close the card and do the front of it so that I have the four corners as well when the card is closed. Okay, so there we have it. And now for the sentiment, I'm just going to choose a very simple sentiment here. I'm just going to use my acrylic block to stamp this sentiment out. I'll move this off to the side. I'll bring out my VersaClair in black. And I'm going to ink up my stamp nice and good. Now the uh, little trick for stamping, uh, if you're not using your stamping platform, you want to make sure that you press down firmly and give that paper a couple of seconds to absorb your ink. So I'm just going to move my fingers around and then that should be good. And now you have a perfect stamp. If you're not confident in your stamping, you can definitely use your stamping platform and that way if you need to stamp a second time that it's all set up for you. 
So I'm going to go ahead and attach that as well to my card base. And I'm just going to put the piece of tape here. There we go. And so as you guys are finishing up your card, I just wanted to show you a different way that you can finish your cards at home. Not all of them will have that fancy fold in them uh, cut for you. So some of the card bases you received are just plain card bases. And I thought, you know, it would be very cute uh, to show you how you can just finish these cards off as well. So then I'm going to cut out another circle from uh, my cutting sheet here. I'm going to go ahead and use my die cut that's included. I'll be right back. So here I just cut out a, another element from my cutting sheet and I will at attach that to the front of my card. But before I do that, I think we're going to add a little bit of colored paper here in the front as well. So I'll just have it so that there's a little border around. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and just trim a little bit off each end. And that way we can keep that little bit of a yellow border behind. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just adhere everything down. Now with Marianne having so many choices of cutting sheets, you really can uh, plan out your card making. So if you're thinking about doing a Christmas card, this is something that, you know, it's not too complicated. It's a really simple cut in each card and then you can embellish it with so many different of her images. It uh, really is the possibilities are endless when you're working with these cutting sheets. So I'm just going to center that as I can on the front of the card. And then I'm also going to layer the two elements I have here. Again, I'm going to use the tape just because I prefer using tape, but I do suggest that you use the tape on the cutting sheets. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere that now to the circles and then adhere that circle to the card front. And then what I thought I would do with my uh, stickers is use the lines that come with it. So I'm just going to peel one of the lines off and I'm going to put a border around this paper that I put here just to finish it off so that it, you know, gives it that little bit more interest. <clears throat> so you'll just stick that on and I'll trim it to the size I need. Then I will do the bottom here. and then trim that with my scissors. And then again, I will take another strip and do down each side, just so I have a complete rectangle around this piece. And I'll just line up the corners here. Oh, and sticky side down usually helps. So I encourage you to be creative with your cutting sheets and your stickers. There's uh, many different ways that you can use these to embellish your cards. We do carry uh, hundreds of stickers, so there is lots to choose from if you're in the market for stickers. So just going to finish this up by adding that last strip to this side. And then I'll trim that up. And I'm also going to use uh, the corner elements. And I'm going to use this other pattern here. So on the sticker sheet, it comes with two different patterns. So I'm going to use this one that's a little bit more uh, sharp on the edges. The one I previously used was more rounded. So this one is just a little bit different.
And one more in this corner. And then there we have another card made from the cutting sheets and your sticker embellishments. Then you can go ahead and add whatever you want there on the inside. Okay, so while you guys are still doing that, I just wanted to show you another example that I made with this die cut. Um, so this was a stamp from Creative Expressions. So I just stamped that out and I embossed the background and added a little bit of ink for dimension and some vines here. There is also this wine card here that I made and remember I showed you that different way to cut the card so that it opens differently. Well that's the technique that I used here and when you open the card so you have this whole space here if you wanted to write a sentiment and I thought it would be funny to add a picture here of the recipient. So it's going to be this could be a birthday card or an anniversary card thinking of you anything like that. So I just want to remind everybody that uh, in your in your bundles that everyone's cutting sheet will be a little bit different. So you know uh, you can work with it. If you uh, don't like the patterns, you can always go over to our website and choose some more. They're pretty inexpensive to purchase and lots of fun to use. So I hope you really enjoyed this. I want to thank everybody for joining us for our open house. Make sure you stay tuned for our final demo and our final draw. So you guys have a great day and thanks a lot for joining us.